The star's ambition to hold its New South Wales casino licence seems to be unravelling by the day. The latest is that Chairman David Foster has been replaced by Director Anne Ward. Foster last week admitted he was trigger happy when sending text messages calling for a war against the casino's regulator appointed manager, then admitting the star is unsuitable to retain its licence. To highlight the dysfunction inside the star, Foster will remain as its quasi chief executive. That's the role the board appointed him to pointed him to when CEO Robbie Cook, who also railed against the regulator, left several weeks ago. The board today said Foster will remain as a director and maintain his executive responsibilities as the casino operator searches for a permanent chief executive. Anne Ward started giving evidence last Wednesday as a director of Star. Today she continued as its chair. One thing she made clear, Foster was pushed out. The board met without Mr Foster and then the board, I left the room and an election occurred in relation to the appointment of me as chairman. In terms of uh, the board's um, meeting without Mr Foster, uh, were reasons discussed for his departure as chair? Uh, members of the board uh, had come to the conclusion that new leadership was required. Ward is a former Crown Resorts director until its takeover by BlackRock. And on Crown today, it said a thousand jobs will be cut across its three casino operations in Melbourne, Perth and Sydney.